Unfortunately, OBS freaked out a bit. And we lost the last 20 minutes of the last episode. It, it said it wasn't responding for a second, and then it just went back to saying it was recording and everything was working fine. So, yeah, uh, that was a bit of a shame. But what happened, I'll, I'll just give you the rundown about what happened. So just where we left it, uh, I, I went through the next entrance, managed to get past one of the Karens, and I was on the other side of the exit looking at the map, and Karen came through, killed me, and then did one through the other side. I was livid. I was so mad. <laughs> I think it took another couple of attempts to get back there. Um, I struggled. I got a lot. I got a lot of. I had a lot of leech problems. They got all of my food, so I actually made it to the next shelter that's in one of those train cars. Uh, but I didn't have enough food, and there was very little time left. Um, so I had to sort of go a different way. Um, and I climbed up this big tree, and I spotted the the sort of navy-coloured slug cat who, who disappeared again. I found a little bit of food. We got a beautiful view. Uh, which I might go back to have a look at now, and then I made I made it to the shelter in the nick of time. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that, but I've updated OBS. Um, I, I try not to update things like editing software and capture software mid playthrough, you know, just in case something just changes. But um, I uh, I updated it. I can't imagine that caused it. I don't know what it was. Um, but if it happens again, I will stop the recording and restart it. If I see it happening again, but, um, I think if if I was because I have switched to recording in MKV instead of MP4, I think if I was still in MP4, I think I would have lost the whole episode. So uh, there's 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 that at least. I can't remember. I, I had to throw a spear into the wall to climb in here, so I don't think I've got any items left. So yeah, there was this big tree here. It's a beautiful sight. And not really sure where we go from here. Maybe further down. Let's just fill the map out. There's no other exits on this side. No! Just curious. So I guess we need to head further down. I don't think there'll be any food left. Might be worth doing a little trek about to... Oh, we're at Journey's End. Okay. Bit of a hint, right? Everything's gone a bit foggy. I don't think it was like this before. Yeah, I just want to have a look up here again. I know I'm wasting time in the cycle, but we're like practically at the bottom level anyway. It was just so pretty, and I would like that to be in the series. Because the recording didn't capture it. Yeah, look at this, dude. Oh, we're a bit tired, Mandy. Yeah, these vines are very awkward. Yeah, look at this. I mean, maybe this is the view of, like, five pebbles. Well, this is where I saw the other slug cat. Oof! Beautiful. So this may, may be like the home of all the slug cats then, this like jungle area. No extra food though. Oh, we've got the golden guide back. If, I thought we only had the blue one. Oh, I've got no weapons. I could jump on them. No, I'm dead. I don't think I was high enough. Killer. Cursed Karen. <coughs> now the map will. No, I've got no objects in here. Right, well, that's a great start. <laughs> Please don't still be there, Karens. Be 
beautiful. Bounteous. This isn't the dead end, is it? No, we've got some food at least. But we've got more Karens. I've got no weapons again. Oh, I'm sneezing. Everything's going wrong. Right, there's a whole family of Karens down here I will be avoiding. Got jelly babies again. Oh, they've got a load of food as well. Hang on, I was, there was a rock down here I can at least pick up. I want a spear. Leave me alone. Right, we've got... Who have we got? We've got a Stuart or an Ava. There's no leeches showing up on the, on the map. This looks like the uh, scavenger hideout from earlier, right? Still no leeches. Always a good thing. More jelly babies. Oh, we've got some food at least. These are worth two pips each. Hey, jelly babies! Can we use them for anything? Do they help us jump higher or something? Yes, they do. Wow, that was a good guess. Whoa! Whoa, jelly baby. Does this only take up one hand? No, it takes up both hands, so it's a bit like Stuart. I know I'm heavy, all right. We can't really kill anything other than the jelly baby itself. <laughs> Starting to look a bit scavengerous ish here. I hope not, but maybe it's just the plants. Was there a, a glowing plant tree thing like this in the original opening cinematic? I think there might have been. Okay, I didn't jump then. I, I'm not in control anymore. <gasps> Family! I'm not controlling this. Oh, I've been recording for 10 minutes. Okay. Wow, that was awesome. I'm really glad I didn't play on at the end of the last video. Um, I would have missed the ending. That would have been devastating. That, uh, I guess that that whole area there leading to Journey's End is uh, from Downpour. But yeah, awesome. We just got back to our family. 
and our kind. Instead of turning into an amoeba in the <laughs> in the depths. <laughs> ah, pretty. Yeah, I'd be interested to try the other characters. Yeah, this video is going to be really short, but what can you do? We'll have a look at. Um, we'll have a glance at the other slug cat. If maybe we've unlocked a slug cat as well. We can have a look at them as well. But yeah, I mean, yeah, new enemy variations, different placements, some of the map areas have changed. Um, I think that there's sort of some more, maybe there's some more defined aspects of the story that are perhaps not grasped. But, um, yeah. And obviously I didn't go to all the areas. I don't think I could have personally, I don't think I could have handled going back to the drainage system. Uh, I think that would have broken me. Uh, I think when we get one of the more water-based characters, uh, I probably will go down there, but I, yeah, that would have been a, a nightmare. Dealing with the pipes and the swimming and stuff. I, I couldn't, I don't think, I think that would have broken me. I, I don't know how different the maps are going to be for each slug cat. That will be what's interesting, whether the maps are different for every single slug cat that wanders in there. But we're all going to, they're all going to have different starting locations, right? It's always baffling the scale of the teams that work on these games, even for like a, you know, a, a side scroller indie game like this. It's always baffling the amount of people that work on them. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, perhaps didn't utilize some of the uh, crafting as well as I should. Uh, I think the problem is sometimes with me in challenging games, I'm so focused on just sort of surviving and do making sure I'm utilizing the, the direct controls I forget to use some of the more um, in-depth mechanics because I'm just trying not to die all the time. Yeah, but what a great expansion. And I mean, how many characters did they add? Was it five? So, I mean, it's a significant undertaking, right, to try and balance the game. I would have been gutted if I would have the recording would have been lost for the ending. That would have been really, really upsetting. So it'll be interesting to see what the story specifics are for the other slug cats when we get there. Uh, the, the plan is um, the next couple of playthroughs. I'm going to be playing Psychonauts one. Then I'm going to play God of War Ragnarok. I'm not going to play Rainworld in between them just because I think Psychonauts might only be like a 15 hour kind of run through. So I'm going to go straight from that to God of War and then I'll jump on with the next slug cat after God of War. But yeah, it's... it's it's been a bit of a, uh, a surprise for me. I've, this uh, this series, right? At least the interest in like the initial like start starting of Rain World, sort of just it's one of those games that I didn't really know had a, a a bit of a cult following. Sort of similar to Outer Wilds, where I just it'd been recommended, seemed like something I would like, and then I started it, and then it's just got a bit of a a cult following uh, who, who sort of loved the game. That's just that I had no idea about. Uh, which also sort of makes you when you're when you're sort of making early game mistakes and misconceptions like people can be a little bit harsh um, when they come in um, so it's always a bit of a double-edged sword that kind of thing uh, but I don't think people realize like with certain things so some things just don't click immediately right but that's what it's like with let's plays right
like people seeing a game for the like that they've already played like things seem a lot more obvious you know when you've played through a game already um, particularly with a game like this where things aren't necessarily shown to you directly and that's why I love the one of the biggest strengths of the game is it gives you a little bit of tutorializing but it's just text right it doesn't I'm really sick of games designing like entire tutorials and putting like story and characters into the tutorials. Like, I would like tutorials to just be optional. I, I, I like 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 because I, I feel like it doesn't cater to players who who don't like tutorials. Like, I would rather learn the mechanics through making mistakes in 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 the game, which is one of the Rainbow's biggest strengths. You know, like like most AAA games design like an entire full-blown story section at the start of the game that has tutorialized parts in it, and I, I hate that. I just think it's rubbish. Uh, just throw me in, and I'll figure it out. It's not that hard, right? To, well, it is, but that's part of the experience of of, of learning it, right? Um, like don't stop holding uh, yeah they just need to ab like abandon the uh, hand holding um, and if people want like a more in-depth tutorial make it optional and then like would you like this yeah well fine go in it but like don't put story elements in the tutorials because yeah I just don't like it sorry I've gone on a rant here for no good reason like Rainworld doesn't do that Rainworld just gives you a little bit of text saying this is how this works maybe you accidentally skip it <laughs> And an important mechanic is lost to you, but you know you can figure it out. And if you don't, and if you miss out on a mechanic, then that's just part of your experience, right? Continue. What are you talking about? All oh, right, it's the summary. Oh, okay, so give me a food tally. You can't quite see that because of my head. 327, 46 successful cycles, 70 deaths, no quits, thank you, and it took 5 hours, we met 5 pebbles, ok these are the um, things we killed, Oh, is that bad? Okay. I used two passages. They go against me massively, apparently. <laughs> Ouch. Right, so passages really hurt you in terms of your score. Uh, killing things really affects your score as well. They really added some points on there. Uh, I killed four. Why would killing crocodiles affect your score? That's absolute nonsense. Maybe it doesn't for Hunter. I, I, I mean, we met... Looks to the moon as well. Yeah, but that's... Some of these are really aggressive. Like, Barry, uh, Karens, they all kill you. Like, I understand if it didn't want you to kill... Um, like, Ava and, and Stuart. And I think I must have killed Simon. Yeah, I killed Simon by accident because I uh, landed landed on him. But I mean, the crocodiles, really? The outer expanse gate remains unlocked beyond this point in the timeline. Right. Okay. So we've like unlocked that ending. So are there are there other endings? I can't really fathom how else what other kind of endings we'd be able to get to unless there's something to do with five pebbles. There's just the, the depths, and now we've got the outer expanse. So it is like a, a continuum, a timeline. <laughs> I don't know why we can continue. I guess we can go back. Right, so we've got the artificial... How are you supposed to pronounce that? Artifice Artificer? Artificer? Oh, 
Art Artificer. Artif I've said it so many times, I can't fathom how to say it now. Artificer. A fierce combatant, master of pyrotechnics and explosives, keen to move up in the food chain. Your journey will surely be one lined with constant bloodshed and warfare. Yes. We've got to take war to the scabs. Right, the rivulet. This is their water one, right? Breathes underwater and moves through the world with ease. These adaptations are essential as you'll be pitted against a world of increasingly frequent floods where time is of the essence. Right, so does that mean we can't breathe above water? Or we can breathe in both? Right, so we'll be going with the Artificer. I can't say that. Arty. We'll be going with Arty next time. Uh, after I play God of War. So uh, that is the Rain World plan. Uh, quite, it's nice to have a, a game to return to, right? I don't think I've ever really had that. Other than like the Cyberpunk DLC and the Outer Wilds DLC. I know this is DLC as well, but like, because there's several characters, it's just cool to return. Um, so yeah, uh, I know this video is only like 20 minutes long, but um, yeah, we found our family. Really cool way to to end it. Um, I, I wonder how different that ending is for the different slug cats, right? If you if you find, I can't imagine you can do that story with um, the normal slug cat. I don't know if it's worth doing a monk playthrough. Because obviously when you first start the game, you you interpret this as, as the easy mode. And after playing as the hunter, obviously that feels like a hard mode. Uh, but I guess it's its own character experience as well, and I guess you don't kill anything. Those are, are those uh, Mandy's kids. That'd be cool. All right, so we're going to war next time. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to kill all the scavengers as revenge for all the other characters. <laughs> for Slugos. <laughs> did I, I didn't, Did I give a name to the hunter? I can't remember. And Mandy for all the shit that the uh, scavengers put us through. But yeah, that's the end of the Gormand playthrough, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming, joining me on the struggle. Uh, I hope it wasn't too painful to watch at times. I always... When, you, when, you, when you're dealing with games like this, I always feel like you lose certain people in the playthrough just through making sort of obvious mistakes, but you end up fumbling your way through different parts of it, and that's just the way it is. But yeah, we'll um, start with... I'm just going to... Uh, should we call him... Just call him Artie. Artie. I don't know. The, the way I pronounce T's doesn't really exist, does it? Artie. What else could we call him? Tiffy? Tifa? No, that's not reference Final Fantasy VII. Uh, Fice. Tiffy. Iffy. Oh, I like Iffy. <laughs> Iffy. Yeah, I'll go with Iffy. The middle part. Right, we'll start with Iffy next time. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed another Rainworld series, guys. We'll be starting Psychonauts tomorrow or the day after. Uh, hope you join me for that one if you're interested. Old school game with a sort of psychedelic story it seems um so yeah leave me a like if you enjoyed it and just remember everyone never trust an on crate i'll see you next time